hey hi everyone this is animesh once again and welcome to my channel today i'm going to teach you how to troubleshoot java cpu usage issues in linux environment so all of us being middleware engineers or uh, working as java engineers we have definitely seen a lot of uh, times when an intensive calculation or some processing in the java code uh, leads to high cpu usage now as a middleware engineer uh, how do you know which exact thread in the java code is causing the high cpu usage sometimes as middleware engineers we don't really develop the code and we don't have an idea right so it's it's very important that we go inside the details and and point the exact thread or exact java code or the exact line in the java class which is causing the problem so i have a blog here how to troubleshoot java cpu usage issues so basically what we have to do is we have to go in the server and using a very simple top command we can see what is the java process that is using the high cpu so you, you can see that this java process is using 99.3 percent which is high cpu and this is the process id now somehow i have to link this process id with the java thread id now how to do that it's very simple you know you have a command here which can give you the lwp lwp is called lightweight process so this gives the lightweight process ids which is nothing but the cpu threads so this command will give you the exact cpu thread which is causing the high cpu and that can be converted to a hexadecimal format which can be mapped this is the hexadecimal format i'll show you in detail by an example i'm just giving you an introduction now so this is the hexadecimal format which that you can convert the lwp into and that will be exactly mapped into the java thread so let's let's explain in detail by a actual working application so this is my server here is my java class and the java code i'll quickly show you the code what the code is doing it's very simple code with a public static void main class main method and it is basically taking a double value two double values and going in a loop that is doing a power so it's a very intensive mathematical calculation which will shoot our cpu usage so let's clear the screen and do a top first you can see there's there is no oh i have one java process sorry uh i think that is already running i'll kill that first yep yep that's running so i'll i'll basically kill that process first okay all right now if you look at the top command right there is nothing that is causing high cpu look at the cpu percentage usage column there is nothing that's causing high cpu all right now let's run our code java main all right i'll just run it in the background okay all right so you can see that the process id is 7092 and yes there is a java process which is taking 99 percent of the cpu and the process id is 7092 now we have to link this process id with the java thread how to do that let's look at this get this thing get this command i'll give you the link for this post and here you grab for the our process id 7092 all right now you have the output which will give you the LWP, the lightweight process. Here you can see this is the process ID for all these lightweight processes and the one that is causing the problem is this one. So this is the 7092, this is the lightweight process ID which is currently in a decimal format and we have to convert that into hexadecimal and we have to map that into the thread dump. So before doing anything else, let's take the thread dump first okay 
All right, so we can use the JSTAC command or we can use the kill minus three command. Let's use the kill minus three command to take the thread dump. All right, thread dump. All right, so we got it in our console. What we can do is we can copy this thread dump in a file. Let's copy it in a file. We can use JSTAC command as well, but I don't have it here. So I'll just copy it in a file. And that's it. I have the thread dump. Now I got the lightweight process ID as which is causing the problem is 7093. I have to convert that into a hexadecimal format. So you can just decimal to hexadecimal. You can get a lot of converters here. And you use any one of them convert. Yep, so this is the hexadecimal format. So here you will have to search it. I think it should be in the lowercase. Let's see. 1BB5, 1BB5. Yep. So this is the one that is causing the problem. Yes. So this is the one. NID. NID stands for native ID and that is the one denoting the lightweight process ID because it's native to the OS. That's why it's called NID. And 0x stands for hexadecimal and 1BB5. That is the number that is linking, that is denoting the native or lightweight process ID. So this is the Java thread that is causing the high CPU usage and you can clearly see that this is in a runnable state and it is in the line 5 of main.java. Now let's see what's there in the line 5 of main.java. Let's set the line numbers. Yep. So you can see that the for loop is starting. So wherever the for loop is starting, this for loop is causing the problem. And this is the line number five is the start of the problem. So it is exactly telling you that what line number in what Java code is causing the high CPU. Now, guys, this is a very, very simple example. But even though if it's a, it's a simple example, the same thing holds good for the most complex code in the world because the process is the same. And you can follow this to debug high CPU usage for very, very complex codes. So thanks for watching once again. Follow this process and get your life simple with very simple steps. And I'll give the post link and which has all the commands to run the and get the lightweight process ids and how to link them together with the lightweight process id and the java thread id so thank you guys for watching once again goodbye